Hello, everybody. Welcome back to D Zoned. So we've got base 66 dash two. Huh. <laughs> I don't know about this. It almost seems like a conversion, but normally we don't get a dash two. We just have two appended to it. So maybe they just wanted to separate it from the 66. I don't know. Let's play it. All right, bit of a spicy boy here. 154 enemies. No secrets. Hmm. Oh, what? Thank you, weapon switch. I mean, if we're being honest, there's enough hit scanners here where the single barrel probably is a better solution, so... Oh, hi there. Ah. Uh, huh. It's kind of amazing that I didn't get stuck there. Or I didn't get hit during all that mess. All right, I'm a little concernicus. Oh, that was, oh, no. Oh. Randomly positioned pain elemental just ruined my fun. Well, at least I think it's a randomly positioned pain elemental. I really have no clue. There does seem to be, I don't know. Maybe it is a little bit deliberate. It's hard to say, because I mean, sometimes the converter really does accidentally make magic, and then other times it just sort of, well, ruins a perfectly balanced map. Jeez, oh man, this is a lot of, a lot of hit scan. It's one of those cases where I do wish I had more, uh, more of the bullets, but oh well. Well, I gotta say, the action's on point with this map. You know, this is using enough Doom 2 exclusive textures, if my eyes aren't deceiving me, that this might actually be intended for Doom 2. Huh. Hard to say. Oh, God. I did not hear him at all. <laughs> That was close. All right, well, at least we got armor coming up here. Just felt it a little bit odd when they would just use like door textures like that as wall decor. It's not really exclusive to D-Zone either, because I mean, um, Cypex used it in Three's a Crowd and it's, I don't know. I guess it's just kind of reinterpreting the texture, because when you look at it like this, it doesn't look like a door texture. I don't know. But yet it's obviously like the base for that, so it's hard to disassociate it. I, I don't know. Oh, it'd be nice if this had a marker or something on the sides. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I guess it's just one of those like individual taste type of things, you know? Everybody kind of has their own idea of what textures should be used for what, and um, it's honestly one of the things that makes Doom... Oh, that was a waste of a lot of shells. That's okay. One of the things that makes Doom so interesting... Like, I'm looking at this here, so... That's a grass texture. But why couldn't it be used as carpet? It looks like it could be carpet, <laughs> so... Um, it still works. Just about how you interpret it. Now, of course, it's one of those things with me, I don't know. I tend to be over literal in a lot of cases like this. So, oh, balls. So, you know, I treat it as a um, grass texture because it's listed as a grass texture. Doesn't mean it can't be used for something else. And I think it actually works quite well in, in this situation. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe over-categorization over hurts us in the long run. All right, so those actually aren't doors. They're just using that as a trim piece. Which, I mean, that works. Well, I guess we go up here and do that. Oh, jeez. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, what the heck? All right, well, that connects to another section that we've already been to, so I guess that's not too horrible. This is kind of an odd map in terms of just how you navigate it. 
I mean, from a combat perspective, it's, um, it's pretty zesty for the most part. But, yeah. Does that lead anywhere else? No, it doesn't. All right, well, down here we go, I guess. Okay. Come on up. <laughs> oh, jeez. I don't know where the hell he came from, but whatevs. Didn't I already... Did I not kill him the first time? I guess not. I could have sworn I did. Huh. Well, oh, whatever. Hmm. Alright, well that's... Hey, go back there. Doesn't look like anything opened up over there, so... Oh. Half expecting that to be a crusher. I'm mean, with with how chain gun hostile some of these uh, '90s maps are. Would you really be surprised if that were a crusher? Like, oh, you dare to get the chain gun, huh? Why don't you use the single barrel, the classic single barrel, the workhorse of doom, the one true shotgun? Don't need the double barrel shit. All right. Anyway. Ah. Brother. I do appreciate how the double barrel isn't, like, a god gun, though. Like, in certain situations, it genuinely is not the ideal choice. Mostly because of this. <laughs> you know, it happens after you pull the trigger. <laughs> and, you know, the massive explosion happens, and, uh... What? The heck? Oh, okay. The massive explosion happens, and, uh, you know, earth shatter and kaboom, etc., etc. And then you're completely vulnerable while you snap two more shells in. <laughs> alright. Uh, alright. There's that thing down there. Oh, I see you. You cheap bastard. <laughs> oh. Big imp. Come on. Successfully dispatched. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why I was expecting that to be like a ledge that I'd have to like skill jump to. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Alright, well that's one way of getting the player the blue key. Not too shabby. All right, so now I just need to go back to the blue door. Brilliant. All right, just make doing a quick chain gunner check. Yeah, I guess I never. No, that's the other one. So maybe what happened was like maybe they came from here, went around there, and just activated the lift. I mean, I guess that'd be possible. I don't know if um. You spotted something I diff I didn't. Please uh, leave a comment. I'm kinda curious. I do occasionally miss stuff. Commentating while playing is uh, on occasion distracting. So let's go to the blue, the unmarked blue door. That's a cyber cyber spider. Yeah, <laughs> I could save. Well, I like what I see over there. Nope. <sighs> Doom's ability to um, handle diagonal walls will never cease to impress me. Okay. There we go. Got her. Hey, look at that. Good as new. Ooh, that was one spicy BFG shot. Oh, son of a... Oh, God, that's not a switch texture. It's a door texture, you bastards. Uh, I don't know why. You would think by now that that's tripped me up so many times that I would just check on the map to see if it was actually an exit line def before I just pressed it. Ah. Uh, 
Oh, well, whatever. I mean, like, 90% of the map was finished, so, um, I guess I'll take that. But, alright, well, that was, um, that was kind of a fun romp. You know, it was very, uh, very kind of action-focused. Um, wasn't shy about giving the player resources. Oh, jeez. Apparently I'm statically charged. I, like, <laughs> touched my microphone and I was like... <laughs> Alright, anyway. But, um... I don't even know if that'll come through in a recording, but I heard it in my headset, so, um... Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway. But yeah, that was, that was a lot of fun. Um... There were some parts of it that were a little bit strange, like um, not marking the key door, although it's not that big of a deal. Just kind of one of those, like, um, fit and finish kind of things, I suppose. Some kind of curious use of texturing, like using the red key uh, trim texture as just kind of a decorative thing, but I don't know. I have kind of philo philosophical debates on the use of textures for their quote intended purpose or canonical purpose versus using them as more of a kind of a free form expression sort of thing. I don't know. I don't know. It's such a subjective thing. I'm not, I don't even know how I feel about it. So shrug, but in terms of actual gameplay and action, yeah, I kind of liked it. It uh, generally was fairly well interconnected. Um, not super huge, not super tiny, uh, the fights felt pretty good. Very hit scanner heavy, but there's no problem with that. You do have the weapons to deal with it. It really does feel like this was designed for Doom 2 and not converted, but, you know, again, it's one of those things where if I'm, if I'm incorrect, feel free to leave a comment and, um, all that good stuff, because I'm very curious myself. But, um, yeah, as far as scores go, just 99% of it due to fun factor, I think I'm going to go ahead and just, um, excuse me, I think I'm going to go ahead and give this one a nine and a half. I had a lot of fun with this one. I, I mean, there's really, <clears throat> excuse me, outside of just um, some of the odd texturing, you know, there's not like any mandatory secrets that were just overly well hidden. Nothing like that. It just felt like a solid Doom level. And you know what? For uh, like 94, 95... That's really not a bad thing. <laughs> nothing overly experimental, nothing overly like Nintendo hard, just a fun first-person shooter level. But, um, eh, yeah, I think that's all for me for now. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Take it easy.